Hi and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Dave and today we're going to be talking about flexible core drive shafts and springs. And believe it or not, those two things are actually very closely related. To create a spring, which I'm going to do first, I'm going to start out with a circle. And you're going to type in what you want the dimension to be here, uh, which is going to relate to the diameter of the spring. Once you have the circle, then you can create from the curve menu a helix or a spiral. Now, you might as well just pull up the curve toolbar because it's going to be a little easier to access these things. You can choose one of or two of three of either pitch, revolution, and height to define your spring, or at least the helical curve to start with. We'll get to the spring in a moment, but this is uh, a prerequisite. So let's go with uh, height and revolution, let's say. I want the height to be, we'll go with 300 millimeters. Number of revolutions, let's say 10. Now we can accept that. The easiest way to create a plane at the end of this spring is to click near the end point and start a sketch. And that'll create a plane for you. We'll draw a circle, whatever you want the diameter of the uh, wire to be that's going to define the spring. And we'll add a pierce relationship to attach that to uh, what is essentially the sweep path. We'll drop a dimension on the circle uh, let's make that 14. Close out of the sketch. We'll hide the plane. And then we can create our sweep. You're almost there at this point. We'll pick our profile and our path. And there's your spring. Piece of cake. Let's close out of that one. And let's take a look at a slightly different but very closely related topic. And that is creating a uh, flexible multi-core shaft. Uh, I've already got a path created which I'm going to show. You'll notice uh, the profiles are just a bunch of circles really and in order to create the sweep we're going to select that profile. Make sure that the profile the circles are not uh, intersecting each other and you should be fine. The path is going to be uh, just a, a simple path in this case 2D sketch consisting of a couple of lines and an arc and we'll turn off the real view graphics maybe to make it a little more clear but there you can see uh, the end result and what we have there are a number of bodies that have been created now you don't have to use a simple 2d sketch you can use a more complicated 3d sketch let's delete this sweep hide our first path show another path that i've already got created which as you can see is a three-dimensional uh, spline which could be a topic in and of itself right there. We'll create our sweep and accept that. Now you'll notice when you're sweeping along a 3D spline there's going to be some twisting that occurs. It's just a, the nature of, uh, of the feature type. There's some things you can do to avoid that twisting or try to limit it but there's other things you can do to instill twisting. So let's say we wanted uh, maybe a twisted core as you're defining your sweep, you can select as one of the options to twist along the path. Now let's tell it, for instance, that we want to twist a number of turns, possibly three turns. And now you've got a twisted core. If you wanted to perhaps put some kind of a coating on that twisted core, Let's take a circle that I've already created ahead of time, as you can see there. And we'll sweep along a path that I used initially. So here's an interesting situation where I'm sharing a sketch that was already used for one thing. I'm going to use it for my path, use it for a second feature. This is going to be a thin feature too, by the way. Now let's give it whatever thickness we want. Let's go with maybe uh, 0.3 millimeters. Make sure the material is going on the right side. Just uncheck Merge Result. And it should go with no problem at that point. Maybe you want to do a little bit of a section so you can see the, uh, the internal core. We'll just do something simple. Close Profile Sketch. Something like that 
structure. I should probably fully define it. I'm not going to worry about that right now. We'll do a cut. We'll say through all in both directions. And it will only cut this particular body. And then maybe we'll take that, uh, that coating, if you want to call it that, the casing. And we'll give it a different color just to mix it up a little bit. Maybe make it blue. You can use it as a flexible flexible shaft. You can use it as a, a wire. Let your imagination decide. So uh, thank you for watching this tech tip, and we hope you watch additional tech tips in the future. Happy modeling. Join us at kdimensions.com for more tech tips. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.